Alright you guys, I'm back and I also uh, upgraded pretty much everything here that's Ender.io. Uh, turns out I guess I can't upgrade the redstone furnace unless I like make like an upgraded redstone furnace, like a resonant or a hardened redstone furnace or something like that. I don't know. I don't know which one of these. I looked it up, redstone furnace. I looked it up and I pretty much hovered over each one of these and they all say basic. I don't know which one is the top tier one. I guess maybe this one. It's silver and dirium. And it, it, it's decently cheap, you know, compared to the other stuff. I guess this is the original one. Yeah, this has got to be the basic one. This is probably like a, a locked one or something. I don't know what that security lock is for. This is probably like hardened. This is, I don't know. And I guess this one might be the resonant one. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe we could try and upgrade one real quick. Uh, all these are at work right now. So, ooh, I'll just, I'll just grab this one. Let's just grab that one. There we go. Got it. And uh, let's see. Can we upgrade the? Oh, yeah. I tried to make some more iron to gold chest upgrades, but I ran out of gold, so I don't have any more of that, unfortunately, and I can't do that, so we're gonna need silver. Uh, how many do we need, like, four of that for that? Uh, let's try and upgrade our stuff here. Enderium, we need more Enderium. We have four there and one iron. Uh, how much Enderium do we have? Ooh, we only have two, and we get that from the Pyro. Yeah, 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 okay. We're not gonna be able to do that right now. Okay, maybe a bit later, though. Maybe a bit later. Let's put that back. Is that gonna- is that hooked up still? Okay, alright. It's still- it's still hooked up. Just have to go put this run flesh back into here and turn it back into leather so we can get ourselves more cows and stuff. Oh yeah, and speaking of cows, I did see a comment. Someone said we had horse DNA. And hold on, hold on. There we go, got it. That's a- that's a ton of bone meal too, like, god. I went over to our, uh, item- our, uh, mob spawner and got all the- Bones and all the rotten flesh and stuff, and we're getting a ton of bone meal here. Jeez, that's an absolute ton. I don't know if we can like feed this into the the farmer thing over here, the the automatic farm thing. I don't know if we can like feed that into here and it like bone meal it on. I guess not. Ooh, the iron hose almost broken too. Ouch. Ooh, okay. Okay, well. Hmm. What if we what if we just bone meal all this? Like so, yeah, I guess it'll just work fine if we just bone meal auto manually like this, but God, that's gonna take a really long time. I wonder if there's like an automatic bone mealer out there that we can get. I have to go look at the, uh, the never-ending items or not enough items or whatever it's called. <laughs> but, uh, wow, I am not gonna be right-clicking like seven, eight, nine, ten stacks of bone meal anytime soon. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go back to our dinosaur area throw some of this leather in there god look at all this we have like unlimited leather right now jeez we can make some pretty dank leather armor i'll tell you that much all right so oh yeah this is this is completely full as well so yeah here we go here's the horse dna all the way backed up into this machine jeez this analyzer is completely full this one too yeah horse dna there cow dna so i assume that leather whenever you put it in the analyzer do I have any horse DNA in here? Chicken DNA? I assume that if you put it into the analyzer, you get a chance of actually getting horse DNA, because, you know, whenever you kill a horse, you get, uh, it sometimes drops leather and stuff, you know? So, maybe that's why it's giving me horse DNA. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's just turn all this into wool, and, uh, I guess, like, it's the only thing that we can use that string is actually put the use for, because everything else that we use wool for, uh, wow, why am I putting wool into there and turning it back into string? What? This makes no sense. Oh. Okay, I must have put wool in there and thought that gives me sheep DNA, but... What does give me sheep DNA? I thought it did. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, uh, lamb chops? No, that's not even in here. Hmm. Yeah, this is hard. I don't know which one... I don't know. Maybe, maybe it does. Yeah, I think it does, and it just gives me a chance of giving me... string? Not 100% sure. Uh, yep, yep, there you go, okay. So that makes sense. <laughs> I was confused there for a bit, like, why am I putting wool into there to get strings so I can put more wool into this? It's like an endless cycle of just nothingness. <laughs> Alright, well, let's grab ourselves some more. There's, I guess we can make a horse. A few horses, I guess. Yeah, let's just make a batch of horses, you know? Two more milk buckets. Yeah, we're gonna have to fill these up. Go on over here, slave, ca or slave cow. God, we need to get a name tag and name him Slave Cow, because that's pretty much what he is. <laughs> Alright, let's put some horse DNA into there. I wonder if we can... Huh. I wonder if we can hook these up. Like, fill up a big, like, vat with con- or vat with, like, milk and stuff. Hook these up with some conduits. And get, like, a never-ending supply of milk, and I, I'd never have to manually put in buckets of milk like this. Oh, wait, there's already a milk bucket in here for some- there we go. 
Nice. There we go. But yeah, that'd be pretty cool if we could do that. That'd be that'd save me a ton of time and money on my car insurance. Just like Geico. Get this last bit of horse DNA in there. And there we go. And we have room for one more thing. What should we put in there? Uh, sheep? Yeah, let's get a sheep. Oh, wow. It just got replaced with some more horse DNA. <laughs> Oh man, there you go. Last bit is a sheep, and let's put up this extra milk into here. So, whenever I came back, uh, you you guys probably saw I had the mine chem search open. Oh, whoops, there we go. And that's because I wanted to. I looked it up a bit, and you know those blueprints that have like no use apparently. Well, apparently you need to make a thing called a, a projector or something. And actually. Hmm, maybe we should trade with those villagers, those new villagers, and see if they have any better trades. But apparently you can make something called a projector. Uh, let's get the fusion chamber one. Yeah, there you go. I think we only need one of these. I don't know if we need too much more. Uh, so where's the projector? Up oh, there it is. Blueprint projector. So we get one of these things, and then we put these blueprints inside of it, and then it'll, like, project an outline of a craft that we need to make the actual, uh... The fusion chamber if you guys don't know what a fusion chamber is it's basically where you get like these atoms or chemicals or whatever and just like fuse them together to make new stuff so if you get like hydrogen you can actually make like helium out of it and stuff like that and uh if you go if you combine enough stuff eventually you can get iron gold diamond stuff like that so that's that's pretty cool the only thing is that we need to make these things called tungsten plating and fusion walls so uh, we have a lot of PB lead, so let's see, let's see, where is all, there it is right there, lead right there, see if we have any more lead, yeah, there we go, lead right there, some lead there, uh, hopefully we have enough, yeah, I'm not saying, oh wait, yeah, we have a lot of lead in here, yeah, the only thing we need now is to make sure we have enough iron to actually craft all that, so do we have any iron in here? I don't think so. We might have like a block of iron in here. Yep, there you go. A singular block of iron. Oh, whoops. Didn't want to open up the Galactic Craft map thing. So let's get this thing. Oh, yeah. We can make some blocks of iron from this. So uh, do we even have enough FE in there to make more iron? Uh, yeah, we have some FE here we can put into there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> We're running out of iron. We really need to go mining or something pretty soon. Yeah, there you go. One more block of iron. Let's just get rid of all these. So if I remember correctly, we put... Uh, no, wait. Nope. Let's get a full stack of lead. It's like, what, one lead and then iron on the sides like this? Or do we need more? Yeah, we need more. So let's see. Uh, Wait, why? why? It needs apparently needs iron. Oh, wait. Or maybe do we put this into a crafting table to make the fusion wall? Oh yeah, okay, that makes that makes more sense. So let's put it into here. Uh, I don't know how many exactly we'll need, so let's just get a pretty good amount. So there you go. Let's get some of these. And ooh, 16 per craft. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty good. Let's get some more of this lead. Let's just throw all that into there, right? There we go. And I guess, I don't know. I don't want to spend all my iron on this, you know? Because we only have so much iron. There we go, and let's get a full stack of fusion walls. I don't know how many we'll need, but I do I do know what this uh, fusion chamber is. It's a, it's a pretty decent size. It's, it's not small at all. So let's put all the extra lead inside of here and throw that into there like so. And let's see. Uh, what do we need for the actual projector itself? We need some iron. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I saved some of that iron. So we need another projector lens, which is just some more glass. So let's go get a stack of glass and make all these lenses that we'll need. So, oh, there we go. So where exactly, there it is right there, so we need to make the concave, convex, and concave lens again, so we need two of these, there we go, two of those, and we need a convex lens, there it is, and there we go, we should be able to make the actual projector lens itself now, there we go, and for this, we will need glass pane, and we already have the iron, and we need to make a redstone lamp, so, ooh, yeah, ooh, Let's get that glass pane. We have like a billion stacks in here. <laughs> God, we have so much. Then we need to make a redstone lamp. And uh, God, I forgot how to make those. I haven't made those in a billion years. I don't even think I've made one in this series. So redstone lamp. Uh, there it is. Uh, yeah, glowstone surrounded by redstone. Yeah, that's really easy. So do we have any? Yeah, we have some loose redstone here. So let's get a glowstone block if we have any in here. Nope, we didn't make one. There we go. That should be pretty easy to make. And there's a glowstone block. And surround that with red. Is it like this, or do we need to surround the whole thing? Nope, nope, there's the redstone lamp. Alright. So we should be able to make the projector itself now. There's the blueprint projector. Alright. So, 
I don't know where we're going to put this fusion chamber, you know? I don't know- I don't know where it's going to go. Because we have- We have pretty much no room. We can't put it in here because it's a pretty good size. It's a pretty decent size. So, I don't know. Maybe we could put it on this side. Uh, we, oh, we can't really put it over here. Maybe we could put it here. Ah, uh, maybe, you know? We might. We might. So, if we put this projector like so... Uh, let's try and center it with this. Yeah, if we put it like this... There we go. We put the blueprint inside of it. Yeah, there you go. It, like, shows a little outline preview of what you need to do, so... I uh, guess... Does this go through walls? What if I put this on the inside of the building? Let's see. God, running this fast is so cool. So what if I put it, like, like this, you know? Let's, what if I put it like that and then put a... Put the blueprint inside of it, of course. So is that gonna be a little bit closer to the... Yeah, that's a little bit closer to the laboratory, okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's a pretty good distance, you know? So we just need to cut down these trees, make some room for the new fusion chamber. I don't know how big it is, I I've only seen, like, pictures of it, so I don't know exactly how big it's gonna be once we actually make it, but I do know it requires a bunch of stuff, so if we go back inside to the projector, it'll tell us how much tungsten plating, how much fusion- yeah, 181 fusion wall, you kidding me? Oh, God, we only have 64 of those. So let's see, how many, uh, let's, let's go get a bit more of that lead, so there we go. How many can we make with all of the iron we have now? We should be able to make one more crap. Oh man, only 16 more. Ooh, ouch, ouch. God, that's terrible. That's horrible. Oh man, so we're going to need about three, three-ish, three-ish stacks of fusion walls. And then we're going to need uh, tungsten plating. But I think right now we're able to make the first layer of the fusion wall. And I think it, it does it like over time, so once we fill this in, it'll show us the second layer of the thing that we need to do. So here we go. Here's the fusion wall. We have two more layers we need to do here. Oh, what? Oh, whoa, it's like... Oh, that's cool. Oh, I could just fill it in. Oh, I don't even have to place it like blocks. Okay, that's cool. Oh, yep, there you go. Yep, see, I'm gonna... Oh, God. Oh, wait a second. It goes backwards like this? Oh, okay, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. Can I get these back? Uh, yes I can. Okay, great. Can I get them back with all reliable? Yes I can, alright. So maybe we should put, your, put the projector, like, right here, you know? Yeah, okay, I thought it- I thought it did it the other way around, where it, like, built that way, but I guess it builds that way. Let's go get the projector AGAIN, and, uh, put it on the outside to make sure that we have enough room to actually make this thing, so... Of course, we have enough- God, we have enough, uh, fusion wall plating or whatever it's called to actually get the first layer bit done, and we have enough to at least get the second layer started, I believe, so. Uh, what if we put it like there? How, how far away is that one gonna be? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a pretty good distance. Yeah, 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 it's like right, right on the edge of all these animals, you know? If it explodes, of course it's going to kill every single animal there. Uh, man, speaking of animals, I think our uh, cultivators over there are doing quite well. I think we might have some horses we can spawn here in a bit. So let's fill in all these with the fusion wall chamber blocks and then we can fill those in with the tungsten blocks once we have some so there we go uh yeah we're going to get some need some of that tungsten so what exactly do we got <laughs> what exactly do we need for the uh the mine mine cam for the tungsten walls so tungsten plating we need beryllium and tungsten so and of course more iron wow <laughs> so beryllium you get that from nether stuff yeah it looks like it yeah, 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 and lead nether stuff. Oh wait, nether, nether brick has a 100% chance of dropping stuff. Ooh. We do have a pretty good amount of netherrack and stuff back over here. That's just feeding infinitely into our stuff over here. So if we throw these into the, to the redstone furnace, you know, cook these into redstone bricks and then make them, or er, netherrack bricks, and then uh, make those into netherrack brick blocks, we should have enough to actually, uh, you know, Get a pretty good amount of beryllium, and I think, what is the other thing we need? Beryllium and tungsten, of course. Tungsten for the tungsten plating, and... Yeah, this also... Yeah, this also requires the, uh, the nether bricks as well, okay. So that's good. Hmm, let's see. Do we have any beryllium or tungsten already in here? So, the symbol for beryllium is like BL or something, and tungsten is like W, I guess, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any in here. Uh, we have a lot of titanium, though, but... Ah, oh, man, yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't even know if I've ever 
put netherrack into this mine camp thing. I've always just got the netherrack and just thrown it into the magma crucible and stuff, you know, got some got some pretty easy energy from that, but I don't think I've ever put it inside of here, you know? And I don't think we can actually, like, synthesize it. Yeah, 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 BL, or BE for beryllium, not BL. So, yeah, we might have to go and make a trip to the nether, although we do have a lot of uh, netherrack here. Oh, wait, that one's almost out. Wow. Ooh, ouch. Actually, you know what? A trip to the nether might not be all that bad. We do need some minerals, you know, iron, gold, stuff like that. We do need a lot of netherrack as well. So, you know, going on this, going on another nether trip probably wouldn't be that bad. And, you know, if we do find a nether fortress on the way there or whatever, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's just more free stuff. Especially because nether stuff seems to give you pretty much unlimited gold, so... <laughs> if we find a, another nether fortress, we have pretty much guaranteed gold just non-stop. Look at all this. I have this chest set up to input bones into this sag mill thing. Oh, we should probably, uh, put some... some flint in there, yeah. Get ourselves a better odds of getting some more bones. Yeah, there we go. Instead of getting four, we're getting six now. Look at that. God, this go- HOLY BUTTS! You kid me! That is un- that is just an unreal number of bone meal in here, you kidding me? Oh yeah, here we go, we're getting started on some of this nether brick too, noise, noise, noise. So, uh, yeah, let's go, let's go configure the auto crafter to make nether bricks. There we go, and throw these into here, and yeah, there we go, now, now we're getting some nether bricks. Now, now you guys see the appeal of this auto crafter thing, it's super useful whenever you want to make a lot of stuff. Look at that, we already have eight there, and, uh, the only thing is, I, I wish we could, like, route this chest to the other thing and filter out, like, everything else, but I don't know if we could do that efficiently, you know? So there we go, we have a lot more of that. Pretty good amount of nether bricks already getting started in here, but, uh, huh. Yeah, there we go, 47, that's a pretty good number. Uh, all my cobblestone and stuff is done in there, so we're gonna start getting ourselves a little bit of beryllium and such. So let's watch this. Uh, is this working? What is this? Oh, it all went, pretty much all went to that one, and this one. Uh, yeah, I saw some beryllium in there. Where'd it go? I saw some, yeah, there you go, 16 beryllium. Did we get any tungsten? Uh, yeah, we did get a little bit of tungsten. Nice! Nice! Not bad at all, so... Uh, beryllium is actually at the top of the list, so... Whenever we auto-organize it, so... That's full, this is full. Uh, what chest would it go? It'd go into this one, yeah. So, do we have any tungsten inside of here? Uh, I'm not seeing any. Uh, we already have 10 tungsten, 20 beryllium, so... It's a pretty, pretty good start, you know? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, yeah, this chest doesn't have any. This chest... This chest would be the chest to have it if, if it had any, you know? But unfortunately, yeah, I'm not seeing any in here. Yeah, it doesn't have any tungsten, doesn't have any more beryllium, but... We may have some more in here. A little bit more nether brick blocks. Don't mind if I take these. And throw these bricks into there. And hopefully we'll get ourselves a pretty good amount of bricks here in a bit. Yeah, let's just throw these manually into here and that should make them a little bit faster. God, this double layer capacitor thing is making this super duper quick. God, that's so efficient. I love this. 14 more nether bricks. 12 more nether bricks. All right. We're going to go to the nether here in a bit, and there you go, that's breaking down the beryllium pre- or the nether bricks into beryllium and such pretty nicely. Uh, is this getting any beryllium or tungsten? I'm not seeing any. This is ten- what? What is this for? Hardly radioactive? Ooh. In four hours, if I open this chest, I'm probably going to die, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh, God. Any inside of this chest? Any inside of here? Uh, I'm not seeing any, yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. But, yeah, ooh, ouch, where, where is it, where's it all going, I'm not seeing any tungsten, I'm not seeing any beryllium, oh wait, uh, magnesium, no, that's, that's a completely different color, yeah, I'm not seeing any at all, ooh, ouch, okay, well, I guess we just didn't get any tungsten from that, cause, maybe we got some, oh yeah, we got some tungsten there, maybe we just didn't get any beryllium, uh, yeah, that's just, that just finished up right there, and, oh yeah, there's some beryllium there, okay, so, if we can get ourselves some more iron, we can... We might we might actually have a little bit of iron in here. Uh... Nope, I'm not seeing any. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. 